We have breaking news this morning. Two people are in the hospital after an apartment fire at Richmond's south side. Thanks for joining us at 630. I'm Delaney Hall. And I'm John Rogers. Video shows the massive response overnight with smoke billowing and sirens blaring. The reserve south apartments now deemed unsafe to live in, leaving tenants unsure of what's next. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress joins us outside the building with more on what we know. Autumn. Well, John Delaney, the scene is calm now, but that was certainly a different story this morning as fire crews work to put out this blaze. Again, this is the Reserve South apartment complex off of Carnation Street on Richmond's south side. And I want to show you some of the damage left behind here. You can see those busted out windows and doors. The siding also damaged this morning. And we'll point you to that orange sign saying no trespassing as this building is, has now been deemed unlivable. Now, take a look at your screen. This was the scene shortly after 1230 this morning. We're told the fire started on the first floor, then spread to the second floor. Fire crews went into offensive attack mode, getting the flames under control around 1:15. Now we know two people were rushed to the hospital. A woman is now fighting for her life. A man is also in critical condition. I talked to a neighbor this morning who lives on the first floor. He was visibly shaken up, saying this all happened in the blink of an eye, and he describes it as nothing short of a nightmare. Take a listen. You know, thank God I'm still alive for the most part. Thank God I'm still alive. And the guy upstairs, you know, he was just like, can y'all help me? Can y'all help me? He was like, yo, you, you just got to jump. You just got to jump. Like, it was just so scary to kind of feel that emotion. Like, yo, you can see it. Like, you got to jump. You got to jump. Like, that's the only thing he could do. So, and I think, you know, he jumped. Now, we also know a firefighter suffered a minor injury to his hand. He was not taken to the hospital. Now, back out here live now. Again, we're working to see exactly how many people are now without a home. But the Red Cross was on scene early this morning, helping these folks figure out what their next steps are. In the meantime, though, we're awaiting official confirmation on what caused this fire. We'll bring you those details as we learn them. Live in Richmond this morning, Autumn Childress, 8 News. Autumn, thank you for that report.